Okay, now that the intro's out of the way, hey, what's up, video friends? Uh, I just finished reading a book called The Inkle. It was written by Alandro Jodorowsky, who you may have heard of from uh, his Unmade Dune movie. And basically, every idea that he had for his Unmade Dune, he put into a comic book called The Inkle, which I have just finished reading, and my fucking God, is it incredible. The book follows John DeFool, who is your run-of-the-mill jaded detective, as he is cast into the middle of this epic. I'm a big fan of those type of characters, the kind of noir detectives, you know, Batman and the like, and I think it works really well for him to be our surrogate eyes into this world. He's kind of just doesn't want anything to do with it, and that makes it a lot more interesting as all this wild shit starts to unfold around him. From the beginning of the book, he's tasked with carrying the Inkle, which is the main MacGuffin of the book, and the title noun. The art is done by this guy, Mobius, who I didn't know who he was before this book, but he's a great artist. His uh, style, it seems to be uh, more realistic figures, kind of blended with a cartoony style, and it, it's balanced and works really well for the story. But obviously, all this comes from Jodorowsky's imagination, and fuck is it vivid and very expansive there's so much shit going on in this book and it could easily become convoluted and just go nowhere but it doesn't it balances it all really well and it actually makes for a very intriguing world to be in since there's so much going on and it is very well realized you got stuff like robotic cops and the necro president who basically gets a new body every couple centuries and it's the same president He's a president, but he never, you know, changes power. You know, there's never any other presidents or any other elections. You know, it's very interesting. Reading the covers of this book, there's some spinoffs that are kind of recent, like 2015 and so on. And I had originally thought that this book was, you know, kind of old and from the 80s. And then I saw, you know, modern books and I was like, oh, yeah, OK, it kind of makes sense. And then I looked at it again and this book was released in 88 and it made me bust out laughing because of how prevalent it is to today's world pretty much all the citizens on what's basically earth in the book uh all they do is just sit in their houses and watch tv and basically do whatever the tv tells them and there's even a point where the tv is like the the camera spinning around and people are like i'm getting sick and they don't even think to look away from the television it's really funny a lot like star wars it's mainly about uh spirituality versus technology and as much as I like Star Wars, Star Wars dealt with those themes on a very surface level compared to the Inkle. The Inkle gets way more to the core of that conflict. The way I interpreted it, the Inkle is basically what on Earth would be mushrooms. Um, mushrooms have historically been used to basically be the telephone line to God. And that's basically what the Inkle is. It's, it's kind of God, but it's also kind of a... a some sort of communication device to and through him. Since John DeFool is a very jaded character, um, the conflict between him and the Inkle is very palpable. Um, the Inkle is basically an allegory for faith and uh, I don't want to say religion, but like God. And it's basically trying to guide him through all this stuff saying, you have to trust me. And John's just like, no, I want to go drink and fuck homeo whores. And a character like that can get very aggravating, um, but they balance it well. And I think if he wasn't so um, pissed off about the whole situation, it, his character could be just a big nothing. And speaking of characters, there's a whole fucking slew of characters, a great gang of them, and they're very affable. Characters like the Meta Baron, who's this great warrior and kind of bounty hunter. Tanita, who starts off as this leader of the underground rebellion and wants to rule the planet and eventually, you know, sides with the good guys and becomes one of the gang. Killer Wolfhead, who's this dog-headed uh, brute and a very lovable character after a while, very hot-headed, but, you know, he's, he's a good dude and he's there for the cause. Anima, who, I don't know what the fuck she is. <laughs> But um, she's, uh, she's, she's a great character. I just don't know what like she is. I don't, I don't know. But she is a great character. And kind of John DeFool's uh, love interest in the book. And her son, Saloon, 
who is uh, a kind of, not hermaphrodite, but um, what they call a, um, fuck. He's like an androgynous, and, you know, there's different types of them in the world. One being the Mega Holiness Empress, who is uh, basically like a, like a fucking guide of goodness in the world, um, but much more ancient than Saloon. And I can't forget Depot, John DeFool's uh, Concrete Bird. I don't know how he's alive and talking. He just, well, I know how he's talking because of the ankle, but I don't know how he's alive. He's just a concrete bird and he's, he's real, he's fucking, he's the shit. And together this gang has to stop this techno cult who is trying to raise the darkness and use it to destroy all the light in the universe. The book really keeps you reading, and unlike modern Star Wars, they actually use like real battle strategies, which is uh, <laughs> like a, a breath of fresh air. And with all the stuff it juggles, the way that it wraps it up um, is <laughs> like, I don't know, I've, I've never read a book and like audibly at the end of reading it been like, oh fuck. Like, it's, it's done really nice, and at the end, they don't just punch the bad guy to win. So I would definitely say go check this out. Uh, it's got great art and even greater writing, better -er -er writing. Uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. And uh, I had a really great time with this book. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I plan to do more reviews in the future. I don't know if I'm going to do them off books I've already read. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, have a good day. And uh, may Jimmy bless you in all your future endeavors.